After two weeks of continuous storms, an entire city in the central part of the Dominican Republic was submerged. All roads were passable. The trapped refugees were forced to huddle together and many waved wildly to the rescue teams for help. Many villagers had to carry their simple luggage and wade through the knee-high waters to higher ground. According to government reports, one of the consequences of precipitation was the presence of the expectant mother. She had a miscarriage during the evacuation and she and the baby died on the way to the hospital. More than 15,000 people were forced to leave their homes and stay in temporary shelters set up by the Red Cross and local rescue units. The President of the Dominican Republic visited the flooded areas on Friday and promised full support and assistance to the refugees. The two-week heavy rain finally ended on November 24. So far, not all schools have opened their doors. Many crops, plowing of the land and houses are still soaked in mud and water. A portion of the Red Alert areas from the Yona River Valley to the mouth of the river have already been classified, or downgraded, to yellow alert status. The drop in the water level has contributed significantly to the flood relief efforts. The government has gradually resettled 60,000 flood refugees into temporary housing. The rising water level from the storm will benefit the country's electricity generation and next year's plowing.